I'm going to show you how to take a timed writing quiz on D2L. So first you want to go to quizzes, which is under assessments, and then quizzes, which will take you to your quiz page. And you want to find the quiz that you want to take, so you click on it. And any instructions, anything that you should know about will be at the very top, and you should read that first before starting. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you can press start quiz. And if it's a timed quiz, there is a limit on how many minutes you have to take the quiz. So if you look at the top left hand corner, you'll see that this has 30 minutes allotted and my time left is counting down right here. So, so far 29 minutes and so many seconds. And then below you'll see the directions. So this will explain what you should be doing if there's any word count requirements. And a reminder that you should save at least a couple minutes at the end of the session to edit your writing before submitting. And then you'll have the prompt, which in this case is saying what was the most challenging experience you've been through at school. And then this is the text box where you would write your answer. And you can see that you just type it in and you can keep typing. And over here on the right hand side is where you spell check. And if there's nothing wrong, you can just ignore it. If you do have something spelled incorrectly, when you click that, it'll say, hey, you have this incorrectly spelled word. What do you want to do? Do you want to ignore it? Because it doesn't have all words in its dictionary here, but it's got, you know, most of them. Um, but it doesn't have proper nouns and things like that. So you can definitely ignore. Otherwise, you can say, oh, this is actually supposed to be the word timed, for example, and you can replace it and apply. And then when you go back to your text box here, you can see that um, it's been changed, updated. And then when you're all done, or when times really run out for you, you want to submit the quiz. And if you leave it to the last second and you don't hit submit quiz, it will automatically submit it for you at the, you know, zero, zero, zero mark. Um, and you won't be able to make changes beyond that. But if you're before zero minutes, zero seconds left, you can hit submit. And it'll say, you're about to submit your quiz. Are you sure you want to do this? Uh, because once you do it, it's final. You can either go back to the question if you're like, oh, no, I want to make some changes here, or you can hit submit quiz. And if you hit submit quiz, it'll say when it was submitted. And if you hit done, it will take you back uh, so that you can see where your attempt is, that it's been submitted. And if you go all the way back to assessments and quizzes, you'll be able to see in the quiz title here, if you scroll over to where it says attempts, you'll see one out of one, meaning that that has been submitted. The one that you could do has been submitted. And then when it gets graded or evaluated, it will show up here and you'll be able to click on that area and receive any feedback, the score out of score and any written feedback as well. And that's how you want to take a timed writing quiz.